Happy Summer Day, Shelton. Today we want to let you know what we will be studying throughout the summer this year. This has already been mentioned during our Sunday morning worship services, and so many of you are already aware of this. And yet throughout the summer, we will be asking, what is wisdom? How does wisdom speak into my life? Yes, we will be starting a new sermon series this Sunday called Wisdom in Life, a study in the book of Proverbs. In the first four to five weeks, we will study together the foundational wisdom, what it means to be wise, what it means to be a fool, and what it means to really fear the Lord and walk in wisdom and obedience. We will study that primarily from the first nine chapters. And after we learn and lay down the foundational messages of wisdom, throughout the rest of the summer, we will dive into practical topics more in the second half from chapter 10 through 31, talking about practical topics. Um, what does the word of the Lord say about our desire for beauty? and struggle of lust? How does wisdom apply in the areas of jealousy and envy? Do you struggle with a temper and anger issue? There are many sayings of the wise in relation to your outburst in the book of Proverbs. What about those who are crushed in spirit? Those who struggle with anxiety and despair? Is there anyone who understands the depth of our struggle where does our hope come from? Do you often find yourself in the state of discontentment? The book of Proverbs speak into these issues as well. Uh, there are so many practical topics that Proverbs wisdom apply into our lives, such as family and parenting, listening and speaking, faith and work, and planning. We will cover these topics throughout the summer. So, as we begin our sermon series this Sunday, will you take time to read the book of Proverbs this summer? There are 31 chapters in the book of Proverbs, and for the next three months, I hope you at least read through the Proverbs once. If you read a chapter per day, you have three chances in June, July, and August to read through the book. So Chaun, as always, and throughout our lives, and also especially in this summer, let us seek wisdom together as a body of Christ. And ultimately, let us seek Christ crucified and resurrected. For the Lord alone has and bestows the heavenly wisdom to all who seek Him. God bless.